Hello and welcome to another edition of Addicted to Angling. Tonight I'm on Clacton Pier with my good friend Jake Smith. We've come down here for a night session armed with squid, bluey, rag and blacks. Seeing if we can get a ray or a codlin. Um, no doubt what we'll get is whiten. Um, I've got a bite on one rod already which I'm pretty certain is a right, uh, whiten. Um, enjoy the episode and we'll see what we can do for you. Cheers. First cast, ray number one. Hopefully, the start of more to come. Look at this beautiful fish. Look at that, look. Beautiful form back ray. Caught on a whole squid with a bluey fillet strapped to it using bait elastic. Beautiful. Who would have thought this at the beginning of November we'd be getting fish like this, eh? Right, I'm going to put him back. Let's see if I can get another one. fishing Clackham Pier with Matty Crow, uh, hoping to catch Codlin White and Array. Uh, rigs I'm using is a pulley dropper and the rod I'm using is a Ziplex M4 GT and the baits we've got rag, squid, um, pulley, um, sorry, uh, fresh blacks, frozen blacks and hopefully we'll catch something and we'll catch a little bit later. See you later. There we are, like another little fish on a rag bait, beautiful little baby dog, look at the size of that, tiny little fish, but still a pretty little thing all the same, like I say, took it on, 2-0 panel, Sakuma Mantas, free rag, all stuffed together, just plopped out there, beautiful little dogfish, I don't know if you can get the eyes, Lovely. Evening. Right, as I said before, tonight I'm fishing on Clacton Pier, which is in Essex. Um, you can fish it during the daytime. You can buy day tickets on the uh, door as you come in. Or you can get a year-long pass, which is what I've got, which costs £75, which entitles you to fish the pier 24-7 every day of the year. In the summer, you're likely to get bass, rays, um, get a variety of other little species. In the winter, it really turns on as quite a cod hot spot. Double figure cod come off here. Daylight hours and nighttime hours. Um, obviously, bring the usual baits if you're going to do that your black lug, your blow lug, your squid. Uh, as I spoke before, tonight I'm using one rig, big rag baits on a 2 0 panel. Just putting it out there, not very far from the old pier itself. Uh, hopefully they'll pick up a codlin on that. I've already had doggies white and uh, tap 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 it all the time to be honest with you. And the other rod, I've got a whole squid with a bluey strap to it, uh, flicking that out on a single pulley dropper, um, 2 0 Sakuma Manta hook. Now the reason I use a single hook when I'm ray fishing, it might not be true, it might just be the way I feel in my mind. 
but with a single hook obviously the ray will settle on the bait and it won't feel the prick from the hook in its body so it will feel more comfortable, more confident feeding on your bait. I'll leave the drag off, if I see the bite I'll sit on it, wait for a little while and wait until the actual drag starts moving or I'll get a um, drop back bite which means the ray's picked up the bait, swam away and it's moved the lead. That last one I had was a slack liner, the uh, tip bouncing around for a couple of minutes beforehand, pulling down, jigging about, and then the actual uh, tip itself just sprang back and you saw the line go slack, so I wound down into it. Also using quite a long trace on the ray wig um, to keep the bait away from the gripper. Yet again, in my mind, the, bait could, the ray could settle near the bait. If the gripper's on the floor, obviously the ray could settle on the gripper, feel the wires, and then it will move off and um, you won't catch it. <laughs> be uh, blatantly honest. Right, so uh, let's carry on. There's a few people fishing on here. The man next to me, he's had a couple of rays. Been a codlin come off down the bottom, so I'm hoping to see some codlin once this tide starts to ebb. It's now coming to the top of the tide. Once I get a little bit more movement, hopefully, might see some codlin and some more rays. We'll see what happens. Yeah, look. Took an eye, took on a uh, whole squid of a bluey fillet attached to it. Little whiting. Tried to wolf it down. Bait was too big to fit in his mouth. Couldn't get it in. Hooked on the outside of the lip. The old rod tip was tap, tap, tapping away for a little while. Knew it weren't a ray, so I wound it in. And this little culprit was on the end of it. One of the usual suspects. I'm sure we'll get a lot more of these tonight. But we'll keep plugging away and see if we can get another ray on camera. Just had this little codlin on frozen blacks. I put this back, it's undersized. So we'll see if we can get one a little bit bigger. Catch you soon. expecting that 42 centimeters lovely codlin just goes to show you don't need lug and blacks etc to catch these I've done the ray ray bait look at that I'm gonna put him back though let him grow bigger hopefully come back in a couple of months time his mummy and daddy will be about lurking around trying to get the bigger baits beautiful Got a love of codlin. Cheers. Right, as you may have heard me talk about earlier, one of the baits I'm using is bluey. I'm wrapping it up with squid, sending it out for the form back rays. This is a bluey. Buy them frozen in packs. Bought these ones from Breakaway Tackle and Ipswich. Um, very oily, very bloody fish. The way I do it is I literally just uh, cut a fillet off the back strip it down the bone, take the fillet off and then literally just whip it onto a uh, whole squid on the outside, flesh side out. If I always do it flesh side out, that seems to attract the away the rays a bit more. Maybe that's because obviously the scent's more readily available to the tide to drag down. Another thing I'm going to talk about is tides. Um, you have an ebb tide, you have a flood tide. Now flood tide is when the tide is at its lowest point and it turns and it starts coming in. That is what people call a flood and the ebb tide is when the tide is at its highest point and it starts going down and going out and that is an ebb. Different places produce better fish on different sorts of tides. You may have certain venues which produce on ebbs, certain tides, uh, certain places which produce on floods. It's best to do your research if you're going to fish a venue. Um, that way you'll always get the best out of where you go. Look up on the internet, read books, talk to people. The internet is a wonderful thing. You can go on all the forums now different forums all over the country so if you're going miles away look up see who's um, available on a forum from that area send them a message you always find that sea anglers great bunch never met anyone that's uh, not what to talk not what to give out information so yeah use the internet find out about the venues you're going to and um, you should do well cheers Here we are, look. 
Another little whiting. Plagues by these things earlier. Now the tide's starting to ease off a little bit. They're coming back on the feed again. Took four rag on a uh, 2 0 Skimmy Manta pulley panel. Yeah, Another whiting for you. Plagued by these things tonight. As soon as the tide starts dropping off, they come back on the feed, smashing everything you put out. This one took four rag on a uh, 2 0 Skuma Manta pulley dropper panel. Give it a couple of months and these were being used as live bait for the cod. Cheers. Right, well that was a video of me and Jake on Clacton Pier. Um, loads of white to start with. A couple of doggies. Ray, uh, Codlin. Um, now the tide's really starting to ebb, it's ripping through. We would stay and fish it when it starts to uh, slow down. But at 11 o'clock at night, I've got to be up at work. 5 o'clock in the morning, Jake's got to be up for work as well, so we're going to call it a night. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I say, Clacton Pier, we'll be doing some winter cod fishing on it. Um, a few of the lads have got pier passes, so we'll be here doing night sessions, day sessions, once the uh, lunkers turn up. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there'll be more to come. Keep your eyes peeled for Addicted to Angling. It's, uh, it's going to be good. Cheers.